HBAR has managed to rally another 21%. In the same period of time, Bitcoin is down 7%. And if we look across the crypto bubbles, you can see this week, while Bitcoin and the rest of the market has been falling, HBAR is one of very few coins that's having a pretty good week. What this means for HBAR going forward is absolutely massive. Now, if you look into the Bitcoin chart, you can see that basically we've had a rally towards the upside and come back down. And if you look into pretty much every other crypto, this is Sand, this is Solana, this is Algorand, this is Dogecoin, everything pretty much follows a similar arc to what Bitcoin's done. Rallies to the upside, comes back down. So why is HBAR doing something different? Well, if we come across to Google Trends, and we can see that people have been searching for HBAR, and there's been a bit of surge towards the upside. And this is in contrast to Bitcoin, which had a little bit of a pump in January when the Bitcoin price got moving, which is now completely trailed off. This means that there's still a lot of hype and excitement in HBAR, and there's very few coins that will rally while other cryptos around them are falling. And this is because the whole crypto market tends to be linked, they tend to move together. This is great news for HBAR holders, because as a project, HBAR is obviously a fantastic project. It does things that maybe we've never seen a crypto blockchain be able to do before, basically achieving the golden triangle of scalability, speed, as well as security. So on a technical side, HBAR is fantastic. And if you've been watching YouTube the last few weeks, you'll see that HBAR is appearing everywhere. And the reason HBAR is appearing everywhere is because videos on HBAR are getting views. And if you sat there thinking, well, he's only made this video so he can get views, partly you're right. But there's also something very important behind that. The fact that I'm getting views on HBAR Hedera videos is because everyone wants to watch HBAR Hedera videos because everyone is buying HBAR. And if everyone's buying HBAR, then we're going to see HBAR moving up in value, which is no shock, no mystery. And that's very exciting because right now we've seen HBAR continue to surge in an upwards direction. And in the past, like last year, we saw the likes of Sandbox, the likes of Gala, uh, Solana being able to do a similar feats. And that meant that they saw insane rallies towards the upside. But we do need to still have an air of caution here because we can potentially see a pushback down. But one thing that this is giving me very big confidence about is that when the crypto market itself continues to rally towards the upside, which I will look into Bitcoin shortly, it means that the likes of HBAR that have been able to do this during a quiet lull period in the crypto market will see insane returns. Now, in a shorter period of time on HBAR, this is on a daily chart, I want to look at where we are literally right this second uh, and draw this box across here. As we know, guys, previous lines of resistance uh, are always going to be retested, okay? And if, if HBAR is able to break through this zone here, then we're going to be seeing something very interesting. But what we could potentially see is a bit of a pushback down uh, and then maybe a return into this area before we're able to break through it, okay? And you can see that previously as well, uh, all the way back here, like sort of gen all the way back here, like end of December 2019, uh, you can see again, this was a line of resistance. I don't think they were necessarily going to get crippled all the way back down here, but I wouldn't worry too much. Okay, so what we can see what we really want is a break back through and a retest of this zone. So if I was to say, would I buy now? Well, no, guys, this is the perfect setup like this. Okay, a very strong rally up and a push back down here. You've even got the double bottom coming up and then this would have been where we wanted to be buying. And then you can see what followed it uh, was a four and a half X all the way up there. And then in fact, we got all the way up here uh, later on. But our next line of resistance above this area that we're currently sat in uh, is all the way up here, another 33% push. But as I've alluded to before, once the crypto market pushes and confirms a new bull market, we are close enough, I'll show you in the Bitcoin chart very shortly, as I've just said, we will be pushing up here 5.7x. Because of the network effect of crypto, a lot of people in crypto right now were involved in crypto in the last bull market. So most of the people within crypto are interested in crypto. But every time there's a new bull market, you get more people flooding into the system. So for every person who made money in the last bull market, they told five or 10 of their mates to get involved in the next bull market. So that means the network effect means that every market will be bigger and bigger and bigger because crypto itself will continue to attract more people. The people who were like, well, I missed it last time. I'm gonna make the most of it this time. And those people will continue to tell their friends and it will continue to grow as an ecosystem. That means 
that when we get into the next bull market, it's going to be significantly bigger than the last one. And if you're identifying right now the likes of Hedera that are performing very strongly in the middle of a in a few days cool off of Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market, well, then we have something very exciting. And then we can say that the 1.618 for Hedera is an absolute no brainer, okay? Because we know that this has already got a really strong community. We know that this is likely to exceed expectations because it's a fantastic project. The community is driving it. And we can see to the 1.618, we're looking at a easy, in my opinion, not financial advice, nearly 11x okay so that's a nearly 11x but you've probably seen people saying out there that hedera can reach two dollars which from the current valuation to two dollars uh is a 22x now that's obviously speculation it's very difficult to anticipate exactly how high something can go once it breaks beyond a previous high because that data just doesn't exist but if you look here this was the previous high before and then we broke all the way up there uh which was obviously from that previous high, uh, another 672%, no guarantees. Obviously, as the market cap gets bigger and bigger, it's harder to add percentage gains because it means the market cap itself has to grow massive. And obviously, that's more challenging. And you're probably there wondering, well, are we in a bull market? Yet to be confirmed whether or not we're in a bull market, okay? We can look at Bitcoin. Something interesting happened, right? This little high here did break this previous high, but didn't break this significant high here. So technically, you would say, if we were to say these were the significant highs, then we are still technically putting in a lower high, and we could potentially slide off here. Whether we're going to do that or not relies heavily on the US dollar DXY because of the shift in interest rates and inflation. So it's hard to tell right now whether or not that's going to happen. I do have an area to pay attention to on the Bitcoin chart. And it is this area here. And the reason I've got attention here is because previously we had a little bit of a mess around area here and then rocketed out of it. It's a very big buying day coming in here. So if we are returning into this zone, establishing support and pushing higher, then we're in a bull market. Absolutely, 100% in a bull market. If we see Bitcoin returning to this like $21,000 level, and then putting in like a double bottom, then that's like we saw earlier on that H bar chart. This is a great accumulation zone, not just for Bitcoin, but every other crypto uh, floating around. If, however, it breaches here, then you know we are gonna be looking down towards maybe lower levels. Doesn't mean that we're gonna fall lower than we've already been. I, I do believe that this was the bottom of the market. I don't believe that we're gonna fall lower, but I could be wrong. It's, but there's so much opportunity right now, not only in H bar, not only in like Bitcoin, but last week in my free Telegram group, which is linked down below in the description, I talked about Morpheus Labs. And since I talked about it, it did basically a 3X. So you could have put in a hundred bucks and turned it into $300 in just a week. I talked about Singularity Dow about back here. And if you'd sold at the top, you could have got another 2X here. I talked about Velocity and when I talked about it, it basically did 100% from there. Obviously they have taken a little bit of a dip as well, but if you were sensible and you took profits off the table, you could have seen some amazing gains just by being a part of my Telegram group, link down below. I will share with you daily all of the things that I'm looking at right now within the crypto market in order to help you make the very best gains that you can. As well as that, I'm sharing various deals for things like BitGet. And if you're interested in making money while the market comes towards the downside, you can still trade towards the downside over on Fairdesk, which is linked down below in the description. Here you can get a bonus up to $600. So you can basically trade for free, obviously not for inexperienced traders. So be very cautious of shorting markets, especially when we have been in an uptrend for the last few weeks, we could see a very strong bounce at some point. Just be cautious. If you're unsure of trading yourself, well, you can click on copy trading and you can copy experienced traders where you can deposit money. Click with just a few clicks of the button to follow experienced traders who are making money and you can make money as and when they're profitable in trading. Obviously, again, not guaranteed. So don't use money that you can't afford to lose because there's obviously risks in involved in that. Everything I've talked about, guys, link down below in the description. Make sure you are in that Telegram group. If you're not, you're throwing money away. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit the like button, have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.